students at Michigan Tech in, in the transportation enterprise, the automotive computing enterprise, and in, in the School of Business, I'm sure will continue to work on issues associated with public charging. Um, those are the three student groups that have been involved in it. There's also a senior design group this semester in civil engineering that did an awful lot of the work um, in, in terms of developing a plan for the entire UP in terms of where they think the most likely locations are for, for public EV charging. Um, nationally, that's something that, that will be done and is done being done at, at, um, in, in state by state. Right now, the Clean Energy Coalition in Michigan is, is currently working on a plan called Plug In Michigan, and they expect to issue that uh, report for that plan sometime this summer that details basically the, 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 the method process and, and expected um, outcomes, if you will, of, of uh, providing public charging in Michigan for electric vehicle owners. And Houghton, the city of Houghton is a, is a cooperating partner in that clean energy project as well as uh, Michigan Tech. So, And a lot of people ask me, they say, that's a pretty big cord. Isn't, isn't that thing hazardous? And the truth of the matter is that, that, it, that it isn't. You can't drive this Chevy Volt anywhere with that plugged in. It will not, it will not move. And uh, there is a continuity plug if the, if the uh, uh, J1772 adapter, that thing, comes out of there. Uh, the continuity plug will automatically shut down the, the voltage supply to there, so there never can be uh, a 240 volt potential at the, at the end of that without it being plugged into the receptacle of the vehicle. Why don't we get out the, the, the uh, charger out of the, the plug out of the back? Maybe somebody can pull this out and show the front of 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 the <laughs> so this is what uh, a, an owner would use if they wanted to plug into their garage or into a, a a 110 socket on a light pole or, or something else. It's essentially got the J1772 receptacle on the end that the car needs and then at the other end a, a, a standard 110 volt plug-in. So that's pretty standard and again it, it takes longer to charge with 110 um, but, but something if you're going to go home at night plug it in while you're sleeping it's something that will be charged in the morning. So.